Hi, Lance Pitlick from SweetHockey.com and welcome to our video series, Goal Scoring Celebration Training. There are a number of players out there that find themselves in an awkward position seconds after scoring a goal. We here at SweetHockey.com are going to provide you with a number of different options that if practiced enough, the next time you're in celebration mode after scoring a goal, it's going to seem like you've done it a thousand times before. Before we get started, I'd like to make the suggestion of when you're doing your on-ice training, we want to set up a target here. We don't want to call him a goalie, that'd be insulting to goalies, but a target. We want to make it game specific. So every time that you're practicing, you want to make sure that you score the goal first and then do your celebration. Lastly, I have a special former South American League player that is going to help us out here in the demonstration. He really put the Ella Ella, Ella in goal scoring celebration, Dustin McCracken. Dustin, thanks so much for helping us out here. We're very excited to have you. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here and I'm uh, glad to help you. All right, well, with that, let's get things rolling. We're going to work on a few of the standard celebrations here. First one is the one arm up. Second one here is the two arms in the air. Then we got the two arms in the air jumping celebration. Now we got the runaway, the runaway high. You make sure them ankles are hitting your butt. And lastly, one of my favorites, it's the Clint Eastwood. No expression, just standing. Well, there you got a few options. Make sure you check out SweetHockey.com for more videos to follow. Make sure you have a SweetHockey.com day.